What's up, everybody? Booty back here again, and it is once again time for the Loot Crate. And this is a big box, comparatively to what we've had in recent months. Um, it's probably 12 to 11 inches across here, plus probably 6 to 8 inches there, and about 4 to 5 inches deep. So a big box. Um, the theme for this was Kingdom, and... Uh, I freak out the box, so let's just get into it, shall we? We have this month's shirt, which we'll go always do last. Um, let's start with this. We have a Adventure Time Nice King and Gunter. Uh, I guess a figure of some variety. No. Sealed. It's rated 17 plus. I don't know if it's a figure. I don't know why it's. I mean, it is a figure. Oh, hell. That box open. Okay. So we have just a very big hunk of plastic. Of the nice king it's not even a it's a hollow hunk of plastic but it is the nice king whatever the hell that's supposed to mean and a couple of penguins a few penguins uh in an ice throne i don't watch the show so i don't know um but i guess it's semi-detailed it looks pretty neat but like i said i don't watch the show so i really don't give a shit these crates, this recent months, have been hit and miss for me. There are obviously things I like in every crate. But I don't like, I haven't liked everything in every crate, or in a crate in a long time. So there's that. Um, we have a Lord of the Rings color changing glass. Um, and again, it's kind of sealed. Pry this bitch open. Foam in the top. And this looks to be kind of a glass glass. It's kind of got a red hue to it. If you guys can see that. Well, no, maybe not a yeah, red hue, but a kind of goldish. And it's got the uh, the elven words, I guess, from the ring around it. And it's probably just kind of. I don't know. I don't see any instructions or whatever. So it's either a cold or hot reacting cup. Uh, the bottom doesn't actually say whether or not it is or isn't. But, yeah. So I'm guessing the uh, maybe the words change color when it gets cold or warm or whatever. Or not the words, but the uh, the Elven script. Sorry, I didn't realize I was holding that frame. But yeah, I'm guessing those change color. And I don't have anything to test it with, so I'm not really going to deal with it right now. I like big cups, so I don't know if I'd ever actually use this for anything. But that's at least kind of neat. Again, it's not something I'm just like... I wouldn't just buy this off a shelf somewhere. Um, we have the book. We have some kind of art print in the bottom of the box here. Yeah, it's just some kind of art print of... I get, what was that, Frodo? No, it wasn't Frodo. It was... It wasn't Samwise. It was one of the other, Merry or Pippin. Maybe Mary Ann Pippin on the tree ant going to Saruman's tower. Art print. Yeah, it's got to be Mary Ann Pippin because I do see the two halfling. Hey, you see the two halflings there? One standing, one sitting right underneath his butt. Yeah. Um, 
Other than that, the box doesn't seem to turn into anything. The bottom of this box turns into a shield. Use it as a use it as is or decorate it more to represent your kingdom. Okay, you can put your own kind of shield symbols in there. Again, not something I would really do. The art print's kind of cool, just not anything I'd really give a shit about. The uh, pin. I have no idea what this is from. Like, literally no idea. But it's got the loot crate symbol. It's got two crossed axes twice. And what looks to be a boar's head on a shield. Kind of as a family crest type thing. Take a look at that. Can you see it? Yeah, there you go. It's kind of cool looking, but like I said, I don't know that I'd ever use it for anything. Um, and the other thing, the only other thing we got is the shirt, which I can tell already is Legend of Zelda E. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right, so the shirt is Link, 8 bit Link using 8-bit the original Legend of Zelda map tiles. If you can catch that, you can see it pretty well. That's cool. I dig that. Definitely a shirt I'm going to keep, but it does have a very heavy print on it. So, I don't know, heavier prints tend to make the area underneath that get sweaty a lot easier. <laughs> Partially because I'm fat. Um, and like I said, the only other thing we have left is the, the book. Um, and we have, a description of the nice king statue, description of the hero of time shirt, description of the glass. Oh, okay, so the glass, when... You put something in it, the elven type on the glass turns red, as you can see there. So white, as you can see there, and red, as you can see there. Um, the print, a um, couple advertisements. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Advertisements. Looter pictures. And the Mega Crate, which we never win, includes a Switch with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a bunch of Forgotten Realms, or not Forgotten Realms, um, Lord of the Rings stuff, videos. And then... It's like some Adventure Time comics and some, some kind of collectible card thing looks like there. I can't tell what exactly what it is. Uh, it's a it's a collection of the it's not because that's not a collectible cards, it's Adventure Time comics collection, like uh, graphics. Other than that, they love us. For spending our money and getting a box of random shit that they threw together. Uh, I do like the Legend of Zelda shirt. But that's about it. Uh, again, Loot Crate is kind of meh for me this month. Um, so, uh, uh, quick plug. I will be at... The Memphis Comic Expo on September, I believe it's 16th and 17th, somewhere around there, at the Memphis Agri Center. Uh, I'll be selling comics and other randomly nerdy goody stuff. Uh, some stuff from Loot Crate, some other stuff. If I have room in the booth, I'm going to have uh, gaming books. 
Um, but I'm also sharing the booth with uh, my roommate, who makes custom, uh, based on a theme, uh, cigar boxes, but like their stuff with uh, Captain America or Spider-Man or uh, My Little Pony or stuff like that. So that's in a couple of weeks. Actually, it's not this weekend, but the weekend after that. So still roughly a couple of weeks. It was two weeks from this past weekend. Um, but again, that's the Memphis Comic Expo at the Agri Center in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I don't know if I what my booth number is. Um, look for the Gamer Geek Yard sale, and uh, that's where I will be. Um, I mean, if you want my autograph, I'll give you my autograph, but it's not going to be worth it. Goddamn. Uh, beyond that. I uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I don't know. I, there's people have been asking for digital loot, and they haven't gotten back to me. So if there's been any digital loot, like comic books or shit like that, that people wanted, I know there was one thing for a, a Power Rangers mobile game that somebody asked me about, and they never got back to me. <clears throat> I still have all that shit because I end up forgetting it. So I mean, if you want the code for that or, or something of that nature, just hit me up in the comments. And I will try to get it back to you as quickly as possible. But um, I'm partially blind. So as much YouTube as I watch, <clears throat> for some reason I can't see the little uh, bell notification thing up here. And uh, if I don't respond for a couple of days, I apologize. But if I see it, I'll, I'll get it to you as, as best I can. Um, I have messages now. So you can message me directly on YouTube. Um, I set my channel up for that. Other than that, uh, we'll see you next time. I want to. I do want to try to do more with the channel. I, you know, there's still games and stuff I want to like stream, but finding a time to actually stream or do other things is you know time consuming. So. And half the time I get home, I just don't feel like doing anything. I veg on the couch. So, um, anyways, talk to you later. We'll see you next time. And as always, do whatever this fuck you do. Later. <laughs>